We have travelled many miles across the globe, but never have we come across a place as unique as Taraja. Here, they have a very different outlook on death. In this picturesque city nestled in the mountains, you can find glimpses of death everywhere. With their elaborate funeral practices and animal sacrifice, this truly is the most interesting but shocking place we have ever visited. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to our channel. If you saw our last video, you would see that we spent the day in Makassar and we took the night bus to the lovely place of Taraja. This is our wonderful tour guide Fritz, Thank you. who's going to be showing us around yeah. for the next two days. So stay tuned as we explore some really unusual but exciting places. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. The queso is uh, typical of traditional village by UNESCO. And the newest one from Toraja, Indonesia. As you know that uh, the World Heritage has two, seven, seven in the world. This one will be one of the World Heritage oh, wow. by UNESCO. Kete Kesu is, uh, is really important for us. A um, long time ago, before we come for this one nation, we call it Indonesia. Toraja has its own government system. And the central government system is from here. One village and another has their own leaders. Oh. But all of the leaders in every village in Toraja will be command from this village. Oh, right. So this is the yeah, main one? The main one. Oh, right. yeah. So this is a, ha a traditional house. And this one over here is a rice storage. What a nice place to store rice. <laughs> we believe that the house is like the figure of mother. Oh. For us, be when you were, uh, before you were born, you were in your ma ma mother placenta. So this is like the present. <laughs> The mother and this one represent the father. Everywhere we want to go, we always asking permission to our parents in their lake, like this. One, two, three. One, one two, two, three. three. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> Not too hard. Actually. We have four primary colors: white, black, red, and yellow. Red it means the bloodiest. Black it means the sadness. White it means purity, and yellow. It means the light. It's so cool. When I was a kid, I grew up in the village with my grandmother. Mm -hmm. I sleep in this room, not here, but in this room. I'm, I'm gonna show you my family house a little. I sleep like in next uh, like this with my grandma and my auntie here and the old brother of my Father, he sleep in this. Wow. So we don't need air circulation here. Why? Because the bamboos natural keeping the air circulation. So you cook in here as well? A long time ago we cook here, yeah. This one is uh, like our heater, like our chicken. Uh, no. I mean uh, kitchen. But when the Dutch colonial come, they were teaching our grandparents don't cook in the houses. You can burn the house. It's not good for health, the smoke. So finally, we move. Love that. So beautiful, aren't they? The houses are shaped like a boat because years ago they come over on boats mm. and it reminds them of their ancestry. So nice. All right, on to the next place. Let's do it. Look at this. This is said yesterday, the land is a sacred element. Yeah? That's the Tarajan people not bury the dead, the dead into the ground, but always into the cave or into the rock or even into the tree for babies. But now, because time is changing, the philosophy is still the same. And Tarajan people can buy some material like cement to make like small houses. So all of this is the grave. Wow. Oh, wow. 
<laughs> They've done a really good job with that. What one did they make this from? Do you know? The wood. What do you think, Maria? So nice, actually. They never forget their loved ones. And look at this. Such a beautiful tomb. I think I deserve one like that when I go. Statue of the dead person, we call it Tau Tau, yeah? It represent or replica of the dead person when belongs to the high class. Okay, minimum 24 buffalo. And how much does each buffalo cost? Around 3,000 pounds. Coffins, not just using for the dead person, but also to put the bones for all family member. As I said, that we don't put the dead into the ground. So sometimes you can put even 10 or 20 bones inside because they don't have skin anymore. You can put it here, you don't need to make a hole. It's so much better than our death process. Mm. It's really nice. Yeah, we're not that respectful in England. Okay guys, so we're on our way to our next spot, which is an old traditional village here in Taraja. And I think there's some grave sites to see. So we'll show you when we get there. This is the other part of Lemo, yeah, with the modern grave and stone grave over there, yeah, with the wooden statue, call it Tau Tau, represent uh, the uh, replica of the royal family, high class. way to fly a drone in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> it's working really well. The hole is really small but inside is really big. The big door has the whole family and the smaller ones are less people. Every one to three years they will take out the people and redress them and you have a ceremony right? Manene. Manene. Manene ceremony. Rewrap them, party, yeah? yeah and then put them back. So it's really nice they don't forget about their past relatives. Much nicer than being left in the ground forever, I think. I like it. <laughs> so our guide has taken us to this really nice restaurant. It's called Panorama, and it's got a nice view of the rice fields. And the panorama. <laughs> Look to the panorama. <laughs> So we just had the most amazing lunch. We chilled for a few hours to let the sun go in because I'm burnt. And now we're going to head, some, uh, head to some rice fields and then we're going to go and visit our guy's house. <laughs> My feet are filthy. Yeah, same. Yeah, <laughs> travel feet. Travel feet. So now we're going to check out Fritz's family house. Whoa. I want to live here. The people still sleep here? Yes. It's a home state. Still by state. Love it. <laughs> So we said we're going to be the first customer here when it's open as a homestay. Definitely. Yeah. It's so nice. It's so traditional. So mm. every house has three levels and they represent the generations of the mm. family. So they all sleep in the same place in every house. This house is right next to some beautiful rice fields. So we're going to fly the drone up and show you what it looks like. Kids are so excited about the drone. Oh my gosh. Hey. 
Oh, hello! Are you adorable? Hmm? Tour guide goals. Look at that. Cleans the wet seat for you, so you don't have to get a wet tush. <laughs> if you want to book this guy, he speaks English, French, Indonesian, and a bit Spanish. of Spanish. <laughs> Not really, but I will try my best. But we'll put his number back yes. down in the description below. Absolutely. Make sure you book him. All right, on to our next spot, which is his house. You're up next. Absolutely not. Mm. <laughs> Everyone will turn off the vlog. <laughs> we'll lose subs. Yeah, we'll lose all our subs if people hear me sing. Have a time pass away. All the travel that we gain. All the thing we're spending by the way. That song really suits your face. Oh. So we are back. We had such a good day. We Best. learned so much about this culture. It's so interesting and just something completely different to anything that like, we can... completely different. Yeah, like it's hard to fathom. Tomorrow, we're actually going to be attending a funeral ceremony here and we'll take you along with us. So stay tuned for that. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.